There's not been any football for a while. My hair is looking absolutely horrendous, but Man United's players are returning to training tomorrow. And the Premier League is hoping to return in June, albeit behind closed doors, but there's nothing we can do about that. Is it time to start getting excited about watching United again? I'd say so. Is it time to start getting excited about the idea of seeing Bruno Fernandes line up alongside Paul Pogba in midfield? Absolutely, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. I was sort of convinced that Paul Pogba was going to leave United this summer. I just didn't feel like his, his head was in it. I didn't feel like it was working for United. I felt this was a summer where he was going to leave and then the coronavirus happened. And I think now United won't get the price that they want for Paul Pogba, so they won't sell him. And it'll be very, very hard to replace Paul Pogba. So I think he'll stay at the club. And what if, what if it works, Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes together? That would be an absolutely magnificent midfield at United, one of the best we've had in a long, long time. Let me know in the comments below, if those two were to play together in midfield, what was our best midfield up until those two? I mean, because we wanted Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin to work out, that didn't. You'd have to go probably way back towards like your skulls and your carrot days for anything of that sort of quality together. And what if, what if it worked? Because on an individual level, Pogba, Fernandez and whoever played that third man in midfield, which I'll discuss later in the video, it's sensational. It would have been one of the best midfields United have had in a long time. And from a team perspective, Pogba, Fernandez together with that midfielder, whether that be Matic, Fred or McTominay, arguably could be the best midfield in the Premier League. City, they've got Fernandinho, but he's been playing in defence. Rodrigo's not really settled, I don't think, completely into that role, not in the same way that Fernandinho does. Silva's going to be retiring soon. They've obviously still got De Bruyne. Then you've got Liverpool, Fabinho, the best defensive midfielder in the league. And their midfield works because it's such a well-oiled team. They're flawless together. But on an individual level, drop Fernandes and Popper alongside each other with maybe McTominay or, or Matic or Fred in midfield. So I'm going to be one of the best midfields in the Premier League if it works. And they could easily complement each other perfectly. And if they do, you know... It would be sensational to watch because I think from a creativity point of view, we'd be unstoppable. The reason we relied so heavily on Pop when he was in that team, the reason we were relying so heavily on Fernandes in that team is because they are the creative hubs of their team. And United never really have had many of those in the last few years. So to have Pop and Fernandes together, say Pop in the sort of form he showed in those three months at the start of Solskjaer's reign, and Fernandes, the sort of form he showed immediately in the United shirt, put those two alongside each other, United will be creating chances galore. And with Rashford, we have, Rashford hasn't even played with Fernandes yet. I mean, it's hard not to be excited about the idea of what this United team could be when it comes back because of how, in, how good its form was prior to the lockdown. And that didn't even involve Pogba and it didn't even involve Rashford. But looking at a formation, I think it's quite obvious because for me, Pogba's best position is the left of a midfield three. He played there, played wider than that at Juventus and that was where his best form came in the United shirt. For Bruno Fernandes, he plays central or to the right of a midfield three. So I think in a 4-3-3 formation, it works perfectly. Pogba on the left and Fernandes on the right with a defensive midfielder behind. And I think that's the biggest question about that midfield. Who would be the ideal midfielder to not only be the perfect defensive midfielder, but to be the perfect foil for Bruno and for Pogba going forward, to allow them to do what they clearly will be able to do going forward. And I personally think out of Matic, Fred and McTominay, that's Scott McTominay. And I think it's very unfair on Fred, but this is Man United. And I think Fred has had a sensational year of growth and progress at United, certainly in comparison to his first year. But United need competition in every single position. Two players in every position is what you want in an ideal world. So Fred will now be competing, I think, with Bruno and Pogba for those two more advanced midfield roles. And that should maybe take his game up another level. I think Fred should be excited about the prospect of that. And I am, certainly. And I think if you drop Fred in there, you've got actual genuine depth in a position where we've Hardly had any real quality for the last three or four years. So that in itself is an exciting prospect. And for me, the big question is, would Pogba and Bruno, would they complement each other? Would they work well together? Would they accommodate each other? Because as I said, they, they used to be in the sort of uh, king of the hill. 
the biggest fish in the pond. Pogba, when he's in that team, it's all about Pogba in midfield. Bruno, when he's in that team, it's all about Bruno. Would they be able to play alongside each other, complement each other and accommodate each other? I think that's the biggest question mark about it. Would Pogba just want the ball all the time? Would Bruno want the ball all the time? Or would they be able to work collectively as a team unit and complement and play alongside each other? I'm not sure about that. And that's going to be where the biggest question mark for me lies and whether those midfielders can work together. But if they do work together and Solskjaer and his team and Michael Carrick, I think will be important in terms of his midfield positioning and his midfield coaching and helping them, he certainly helped to improve Fred. If that can work cohesively, it will be utterly unstoppable. And I think McTominay will play a crucial role in that. That's why I would say McTominay is best in that position because he's got the energy, the drive and the quality, I think, to be a top level defensive midfielder. He's still growing. He's still got growth ahead of him. But I don't think that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would go out and sign an absolute top draw world class midfielder to push McTominay down the ranks. I think he's going to show more faith in McTominay to keep growing in that position because his growth has arguably been more impressive than Fred's over the last 12 to 16 months. But that midfield three there, McTominay sitting behind, Pobre on the left and Bruno Fernandes on the right, would be United's best midfield three, most balanced, overall best quality midfield, certainly on paper that we've had in such a long time. And it's got the potential to be a very balanced midfield because Bruno's got this work rate that maybe Pogba slightly lacks, but Pogba's got the overall quality. And maybe it's unfair of me to mention the work rate, but let's see what happens coming back. That's certainly a key part of Bruno Fernandes' game is his work rate. He's up and down the pitch the whole time. And the same goes for Scott McTominay. But I'm interested to see how they work together, if they can work together. Then if you get Marcus Rashford on the left, you get Anthony Martial up front. Hell, you drop Jaden, Jaden Sancho sorry, on the right wing. That front six, that whole six is incredibly balanced. There's a clear formation that works. Everybody complements each other. It's not like dropping people in the wrong positions. Everybody would be in their strongest position. Put that on a back five that's got Wan Bissaka, who's continually improving. Harry Maguire, who's getting better as well. Probably Lindelof alongside him, or maybe Bai, I don't know. Then you've got Brandon Williams knocking on the door there with Luke Shaw, and you've got David De Gea, and then you've got the Henderson behind him. It's easy to be downbeat about how far ahead Liverpool have been in the last few years and how far ahead City have been, but United, prior to the coronavirus, you could see that things were starting to work, that the wheels were starting to turn, that everybody was starting to head in the right direction. And the coronavirus in that sense came at a bad time for United, but we'll recover, we'll keep pushing through. And I'm dead excited to see what can happen between Bruno and Pogba in midfield. Do you think it can work? Let me know in the comments below. I asked you yesterday on the community tab for your video ideas. I've got all of them noted down. Thank you very much for everybody who replied to them. Sorry about the lack of videos. I said it last time and there's still been a lack of videos, but I'm coming back stronger just like united will after the coronavirus going to be doing more regular videos so make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new to united people's tv but how excited are you about the idea of bruno fernandez and paul Pogba lining up in midfield for united maybe next month 